So let me explain to you why following or mimicking black street culture is detrimental to your community. I was reading this article about this town near Phoenix, Arizona called Gilbert. And this article was talking about this newly formed gang in Gilbert called the Gilbert, the Gilbert Goons. And the Gilbert Goons consist of, I guess you could just say rich, rich young teenage boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like these kids, their parents, these little boys that are in this game, um, their parents are, you know, upper middle class, you know what I'm saying, affluent. It, you know, to get the, the, the town of Gilbert, the city of Gilbert, I should say, it's, it's, there's 300,000 residents there now. It grew in population over the years. Uh, but the parents of these kids in this game, you know, they, they're mostly affluent. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these kids, you know, they're not in low income areas. You know what I'm saying? They're in upper middle class areas. You know what I'm saying? They're they not really in the streets like that, like, like low income uh, communities are, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's not too much from what I've read and, and from what I know about, you know, neighborhoods like, I mean, areas like that, cities like that, where it's mostly affluent neighborhoods, you know, it's not a lot of drug activity going on, you know what I'm saying? It may be some, you know, isolated, it may be some drug activity going on, but, you know, that most, that mostly occurs in lower income areas, you know what I'm saying? So, these little boys in this gang, you know, they really don't have no need to have a gang. You know what I'm saying? But you know how teenage kids are. You know, they like to, you know, they like to mimic what they see on TV. And 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 I've been looking at the, the videos and photos around, you know, everything uh, revolving this gang. Um, and man, these little boys holding up money. They holding up stacks of money and and you know what I'm saying, like throwing up gang signs, you know, and pictures and things like that. They they look like they black. You know what I'm saying? They look like they look like a black gang. Um, you know what I'm saying? They they it, they're mimicking black street culture, the gangs in black low income neighborhoods, bro. That's what they're mimicking. And and they not they don't even have a purpose for having a gang. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a group of boys, you know, a group of guys and their friends, you know what I'm saying? They just got like a little group going on. And um and they just gained up with each other, you know, like friends are all gained up with each other. But what they doing is just it's just weak. You know what I'm saying? They beating up little kids. They going around beating up like little kids, like they didn't kill a couple kids, you know what I'm saying, by beating them up so bad, like younger boys. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> These kids, these kids will show up to parties or whatever, driving nice cars and everything. And uh, they all get together. This is just one article I wrote, you, I, I read, you know, I don't, I don't know what they do all the time, but in this article, you know, these kids, this is usually what they do. This is what the police say they usually do. They show up at parties at somebody's, you know, somebody's house party they'll show up at a house party and uh and these gilbert goon guys are show, pulling up in in like their daddy's and mama's car and, and mommy's cars you know saying like bmws and and just you know nice cars they pulling up to the party like that and they going in there they getting drunk and then they finding like victims like they finding like other little younger boys to beat up on bro <clears throat> And, you know, talk about some weak ass, you know, <laughs> you know, that's some weak shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, you know, gangs, you know, when I read about this, I think about gangs in general. And, 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 and for me, I only think about black gangs because, you know, I come from that culture. And um, I think about the gangs and, you know, when you a little boy, when you when you little, you know what I'm saying? When you a little young man. And you get into like a little gang at school or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know, you do try to find people to beat up on to make yourself look good, to make yourself feel good, make yourself, you know, feel like you part of the crew. 
and you know you you want to impress the girls and everything so you know when you a little boy you think that women love rebels and, and to a sense they kind of do you know what I'm saying they kind of do um it depends you know what I'm saying in my era they did you know my in my era the little girls they love people they love guys little boys when we was in high school they love the ones who didn't go to school who didn't really do their work who you know fought all the time fought people all the time and just was in in trouble all the time because you know you kind of love you kind of admire a free spirit a rebel you kind of admire those types of people and um and for boys they, they you know it, it makes you feel like you're more of a man like you you really don't care about things you know what I'm saying you're more of a man um which is crazy thinking you know what I'm saying when once you look back at it uh but like I said, I was thinking about games when I was young and what they was doing, and they was beating up on little boys, and, and that's just weak shit. Uh, but as they got older, um, black gangs in general, you know, the way they started, when they started, um, yeah, that's see, that's something different. You know, when I was young, you know, little gangs, they would beat up on boys and things like that. But that's not how gangs, and they would, and these little boys would be repping gangs like Crips or Bloods or GDs, Vice Lords. These gangs are now watered down now. You know, kids are trying to claim these gangs and they just use that as a basis to do, you know, mischief around town and call and, re, and, and you know, and, and, you know, just go around and doing dumb stuff. But but the way these gangs started, GDs, Vice Lords, Bloods, and Crips, the way they started was, was not, it wasn't because that they wanted to go around and start beating up on citizens, on civilians. That's not really why they was formed. They was formed um, because of what was going on in the neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? In low income areas, there's a lot of drug activity that's going on. And you got a lot of people in these areas who don't have a lot of money. They mostly broke, um, like really broke, like, you know, under the poverty line of income type of broke. That's a different type of broke, not the type of broke when you live in, in middle class or upper middle class and you spending all the money that you got coming in and you broke, not that type of broke because you still got a house to stay in and you don't really have to worry about nobody breaking into your house like that. But see, in low income areas, you have to worry about all that. You have to worry about your next door neighbor uh, breaking into your house to steal some of your stuff because they don't have any food at all or they don't have any couches to sit on. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody in the neighborhood is worried about those types of things. Um, like that was a big concern when I was young. Like when I would go over to my friend's house, they were always locking their doors and, and putting burglar bars on their windows, you know what I'm saying? And getting them installed because that, that was a constant worry because kids, little kids used to walk down the street all the time looking for houses to break in and they will break into to houses. And see, that's what happens in low income areas. So you have all these things going on, um, all this crime that's going on and drugs um, are being used because these people, people in low income areas are depressed most of the time. So they, they use drugs to cope with their depression and they always worried about something, you know what I'm saying? So all this stuff is going on in the uh, low income areas. And, um, these people in these low income areas, they have to figure out a way to make money because they can't really get no jobs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because in these low income areas, they, they, they get discriminated against because they don't have any education. Um, you know, race may have something to do with it back in the day. You know, it has something to do with it back in the day, actually. But, you know, that you know, you have all these factors that prevent you from getting like a well paying job. Um, you know, your background prevented you from getting a good education. So now you just stuck with the education you got and you really don't have the means to go to college or, or further your education because you, you know, that costs money and you got to get a job in order to do that. And, and the job that you get is probably paying you pennies. So you kind of like stuck. And then you got this thing, this welfare thing that the Democrats got going on, that the government got going on, man. And, and it keeps you from 
um, raising your income. You got to make a certain amount of income to, to keep getting this welfare uh, money. So you don't want to make any more income. You want to just stay, you know, where you at. You want to stay under. So now you're doing stuff under the table. You're selling drugs and you're selling, you know, whatever you can to make money under the table and not report it, report it to the IRS. And it's just keeping you broke, bro. It's keeping you broke because... You know, getting into the drug game and all that right there, man, that, that'll get you killed. You know what I'm saying? So, like I was saying, the uh, the origin of these gangs, the Bloods, the Crips, the GDs, the Vice Lord, all these black gangs, um, the origin of <clears throat> the origin of them came about because in these low come low income areas, if you want to make money, the number one way to make money is selling drugs because everybody is using the drug. Usually, you can take one house one household on the block, in the hood, everybody in there using drugs. The kids probably, you know what I'm saying, if they, if they of age, or eat, man, you know, I was seeing kids smoking at seven, eight years old when I was young. So, you know, they were smoking weed, you know what I'm saying, smoking weed and like, you know, at least trying it. By 11, 12, they smoking it, you know what I'm saying, like, like they rolling it and smoking it, bro. So... And then the parents were, smoke, were smoking that too, or either you know doing crack or cocaine or whatever. So you like in the hood, you can you can you can just spin around, you can blindfold yourself and just spin around and point at a house and be like, okay, they're probably in there. There's a high chance that they're in there. Every everybody in this house is doing drugs or in this apartment complex, everybody in there is doing drugs. So selling drugs in the hood is is a very profitable business. So, you know, when the gangs start doing, when the gangs started forming, you know, you had, you got to form you an entity, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you own whatever, if you on Purple Street, you got to form you a little, and, and you got, you know, you working with a couple of guys or the gals on the street, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to form an entity uh, to own, so you can only sell drugs in this area. You don't want any any other com competitors coming on your street uh, to sell your drugs or to sell their drugs in, on your corner. You want to like just like a business does, bro. Just like Walmart or um, Apple or you know any of these big businesses, these Fortune 500 companies, they they created entities and they hold down their blocks. You know, what I'm saying they have monopolies in certain areas. Apple with cell phones, Microsoft with, you know, uh, you know, business office software, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they have their blocks and see, that's why these games, you know, kind of, uh, you know, there was other things, the reason, reason why they, uh, originated. Um, but it was mostly for, you know, territory, you know what I'm saying? We sell drugs here. You cannot steal, uh, from these houses in this neighborhood because we're stealing from these houses in this neighborhood. So, you can't do it, so they have to form these games. And see, these Gilbert, these Gilbert goons, bro, they they forming a game. They forming a game um, in a in an era where you are mimicking watered down gangs now. You know, what I'm saying they these these little boys, these little Gilbert goons, bro, little boys, they they forming you know the 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 type of gang that they form, and they forming it based off of watered down gangs now. You know what I'm saying? Those G you know, GDs and Vice Lords and Bloods and Crips, you know, they they wreaked havoc in their neighborhoods and their communities. Don't you know, don't get me wrong. But the way that they formed was for um, you know, different uh, ideologies. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 really formed, you know, the Crips kind of formed um off of the demise of the Black Panthers, you know what I'm saying? They really was just some black uh, guys, um, you know, rebels, they just wanted to form a clique because they saw how the Black Panthers fail. And, you know, these guys were low income guys in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And, and just doing, you know, they were just trying to have fun as little boys or whatever. And, and they just formed a thing that became big. But, you know, a lot of these games, for the most part, they, they click up so they can, you know, hold down territories and see. These Gilbert Goon and, and, and these Gilbert Goon, this Gilbert Goon uh, game, man, they they're not doing anything like that. And I don't condone getting into a game, period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the way that they forming is wrong. You know what I'm saying? They they not they forming without a purpose. All the only thing they doing is beating up little kids. 
You know what I'm saying? At least some of these other gangs, you know, they formed out of necessity, you know what I'm saying, to protect themselves because they are in low-income areas, the hood, and you got to protect yourself when you're in the hood, bro. You can't just be, you know what I'm saying, just going around beating up kids because, you know, you know that 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 don't make no sense. And you know what I'm saying, especially if you in like an affluent neighbor, you you in an affluent, you, if you come from an affluent neighborhood, Bro, you shouldn't be in no game, period, unless it's a business. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make no sense, bro. And, and the things that they doing is really weak shit, you know. You know, but they little boys, man. They they little boys, little guys, you know what I'm saying, trying to impress everybody. But, it, but see, that don't make it right, though. You know what I'm saying? That don't make it right at all. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, if my kids were the victims... Were, were the victims of these Gilbert Goon guys, like, bro, I, I would be in jail, bro, because I'd be going after them. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. You know, I don't care how many people, how many of them there are. But see, a lot of the parents of the victims, they trying to sue these these Gilbert Goon kids' as parents because they, most of them, kind of rich. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can probably get some money out of them. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they have, you know, a lot of they a lot of equity in their assets or, or, or a lot of money, man, a lot of cash sitting around. Yeah, you can go ahead and, and sue them and, and get something. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, man, like your kid dying, bro, over some little, you know, you know, like your kid dying over stuff that don't even make no sense, bro. Like, you know, because these kids drunk and they all want to gain up on your, on your little child and beat them up. And, and the child ends up dying because of that. You know what I'm saying, bro? That like that that really breaks a parent down, bro. That really break a family apart, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I like, you know, these little boys, these little Gilbert Goon boys don't understand like what the parent and the family go through. Especially if the if their victims have like um have siblings and, and you know what I'm saying, like they sibling dead. And they've been in the house with them this whole time. And now they did because these little boys going around getting drunk and beating them up to death. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it don't make no sense. Like, you a cause like a... Bro, I had a, I had a friend when I was young. He died in a car accident. His mother, he died in a car accident. My friend did. I was the last person he saw. I dropped him off at his girlfriend's house. And I went and picked him up because we was, we was at this club. And uh, like I said, I dropped him off at his girlfriend's house, and then I, he called me. I went back to the club, and then he called me and told me to come pick him up. I went and picked him up and dropped him back off at his car at the club, and he left and got hit by a, uh, a guy who was on drugs, and he was speeding in a curb. And my friend had just started pulling off in the street and uh, I think my friend's car was kind of messed up as well. So I think it kind of it shut off like while he was in the middle of the street. But the other guy was still going too fast and he was on drugs. So he didn't know he wasn't coherent. He didn't know what was going on. He was he was on like cocaine and like ecstasy. He had so many drugs in his system, I believe. Um, but he hit my friend and killed him. And uh, and that was in 2007. And his, my friend's mother just died like two years ago, and she, and she, you can, you can say that she died from grief of her son dying the way he did. Um, she never recovered. She never recovered. She always reached out over the years. She was reaching out to all of us, all of her son's friends, me and a couple other guys who were friends with her son. She was always reaching out to us over the years seeing how we was doing man like and you can just hear it. when i talked to her the last time i talked to her right before she died like something told me to call her and i, and I called my mother i said man give, give me uh give me my friend's mother's number do you have it? and she had it and i called her and i just called and talked to her a little bit and just told her what i was doing and uh, you know what I'm saying and everything and, and was talking to her a little bit about the past and it was, and she felt so good to to talk to me. But I can hear it in her voice; she just never recovered from her son's death. And that was, you know, twenty something years ago. So, bro, like, 
And her son, you know, when her son died, we was we was 17, 18 years old. We was just about to graduate high school. You know, so we was 18. He was 18. I was 18. And um, 17. We was both 17. And, bro, she never recovered, bro. Never recovered. He died in a wreck. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's because he was young and, 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 you know, he hadn't graduated high school yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once you graduate high school, you know, people like me, I'm in my 30s now. And when I see people graduating high school, I'm like, man, they got so much life ahead of them. They got so much to do, so many things to explore. I mean, so many places to explore and so many things to do. They got their whole life ahead of them. So when you die before you graduate high school, you're like, damn, like, what could that, what could that person have been? They had so much life ahead of them. They haven't even graduated high school yet. So, you know, you look Gilbert Goons, guys. Y'all killing these little kids, bro. These little kids, bro. It's tearing their families apart when you do that. You know what I'm saying? It's tearing their families apart. Like, the mother probably, the, the mother and the father probably would never recover. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They probably would never recover. Probably going to end up getting a divorce or something like that. Uh, the the kids will always have that scar on with them, uh, so they're gonna act out in different ways. You know what I'm saying? Because they lost they they big brother, big sister, or whatever. You know, what I'm saying I don't really see too many. I haven't seen from what from where I'm at. You know, I don't know what's going on on the ground in Gilbert, but I haven't seen you know these these Gilbert goon guys beating up on any um, women or little girls. It's just been little boys. And see that? Yeah, but. Like I was saying, man, it, it really tears the family apart. And see, these little kids don't understand that, bro. They don't understand that. The only thing they're worried about is looking cool and being cool, bro. You know, they're they not even thinking about your parents and how over the years that grief never goes away from their child, their baby, you know what I'm saying, dying in such a way, getting beat up. Bro, if one of, bro, if one of my daughters, bro, I can't, I can't even, when you got kids, it really, it really hits you. It really puts it in perspective for you. It, it it makes you realize how much in pain the parents must be. You know what I'm saying? When you got kids. See, I got two kids, bro. Like, I can't imagine somebody, another, some more little kids gaining up on them and beating them up to death, bro. Bro, bro, I'd be out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would be out there looking for the little kids. Like, where they at? I'm looking for them. I don't, I don't care, bro. Like, bro, like that, that's, bro, that's just crazy, bro. But see, but see, you got to be better than me. You know what I'm saying? You got to be better than me. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel so sorry for the parents who are better than me, who are like, you know, we can't go out and, and commit a crime because that's just too much. You know what I'm saying? They, they care more about their lives and they'll just live with the grief. You know what I'm saying? Um, but see, I come from low income areas. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I can be kind of crazy. I can think kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain things, like, you'd be like, man, I, you know, I'm dying for that. I'm dying for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're going to die for your kids, bro. You're going to die for your kids. So, you know, um, man, it's it's just crazy, man. It's just it's just crazy, man. I, I, I was reading that and looking at all these little boys dying before they even, high, you know, graduate high school. One of the kids was a football player, bro. Uh, in high school, and, and he, he looked like a nice kid, um, but he got beat up to death, bro, like, by these other little boys, these little punk-ass boys, you know what I'm saying, and beat them up, bro, and uh, and they doing a lot of things, man, they shooting and everything, they they just wreaking havoc on, on Gilbert, bro, and, and the police, the Gilbert police have, you know, finally, you know, designated them as a, as a gang, uh, an official gang, and uh, and they need to do more work to protect this community, bro. You, you know, you you always blame it on the police. You know what I'm saying? Because they, you know, they like the, you know, they're the first responders. You know, um, they they need they got you know they 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 the police are handling all of the crime in that area. So you always kind of blame. You always. <laughs> You know, we always tend to, to place some blame on the police. Like, the police should be doing a better job when really they're doing a great job. You know what I'm saying? Police do a great job. They they nosy. You know, the police are nosy. 
They, they, you know what I'm saying? They always into people's business. You know what I'm saying? Like when they stop you, they ask you like a hundred questions <laughs> because, because it's, it's imperative for them to know so they can know how the neighborhood is working. Who in the neighborhood? You're not a familiar face. Where are you from? They need to know all these things. So, you know, I think, you know, us, you know, it, the public, we get kind of offended when the police stops you and they ask you all these questions. But, you know, bro, like, I, you know, I, I be cooperative with them. Like, I already know, I know how the game goes. See, if you know how the game go with, with the police and what they do, you kind of understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I do get mad when they when they try to search my car and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a young black dude. So, um, but, but sometimes, man, when I was young, I used to let them do it. Like, like, yeah, you go, go ahead, search it, bro. Go, you can go ahead, do, you know, knock yourself out. Because I knew how the game go, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand, you know, who's doing all the crime, and you and I may look like them. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I was younger. Like not not now. You know now I haven't been stopped by a police in in years. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when I was younger, I used to drive these cars that looked black. You know what I'm saying? I look it looked like a black guy was drive was in that car. Um, but, but now I drive ordinary regular cars to so I won't stand out. Um, but but you gotta understand how the gang go. It ain't, it ain't just about black. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 anything. You know, like it don't matter what color you are. You always get offended when the police. I used to, I see on TikTok all the time. A lot of these people they get offended when the police start asking them all these questions and everything. And and um and, and bro, they just they just they have to be nosy, bro. They gotta know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? They need to know these things so they can uh so they can understand how the area is working they trying to uh, they trying to identify crime and us as citizens bro we getting way better at, at masking crimes that we do and so they got to get better at trying to ask right questions they, they need to see if you're nervous you know what i'm saying you just got to understand how the game go bro you ain't got to be mad at them for doing what they're doing you know what i'm saying like like you know sometimes they do take it over the edge because i because i I can only imagine like being a policeman is kind of like being a little demigod, you know what I'm saying? You got all this power, you know, you can basically kind of kill somebody and, and really don't have no, you know what I'm saying, no justification for it. You know, they can they can come up with something, but you got all this power, bro, and you got the law behind you. So it make them, you know, feel like they like invincible, you know what I'm saying? It gives you like a whole different type of, of power in their head, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they got that. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's you know, a little bit of ego to, uh, you know, that's a little bit of ego, you know what I'm saying, in the job as well. So you have to account for that too. You know what I'm saying? They, they're going to yell and, and they're going to talk, you know, big with their chest out. But you just just let them do what they do. It's kind of like, you know, people who have, you know, dementia or Alzheimer's or, you know, people who are, uh, you know, special, uh, you know, people who, I don't want to say people who are special. That's kind of offensive. Um, people who have disabilities. Um, you don't get mad at them <clears throat> for doing something or not doing something. You just be like, okay, you know, you got, you got, <laughs> you know, you disabled. You know, you can't help it. You know, you don't get mad at a baby for throwing a ball and hitting you in the face. You're like, oh, you know, you kind of laugh it off and be like, oh, you're just a baby. You don't know that much. You know, that's, that's just who you are. That's kind of how you got to be with the police. Um, you got to be like, okay, you know, he's a little egotistical and, and he has all this power and, <clears throat> and you know, it, it you know, you just kind of, kind of, kind of ignore it and let them do what they do and just, you know, follow whatever rules they got, just follow them. And, and as long as the thing go peaceful, bro, you good. But if you get to fighting with them and arguing with them and, and doing that, you're going to go to jail because they got the power to take you to jail as well. So it's a lot of power in that position. Uh, but I'm going off on a tangent. But like I was saying, like you place a lot of the blame on the police, which I know a lot of the parents and Gilbert are doing. But you got to get the police time. You know, this is a new game, and and they and they you know gangs get once they in the game, the Gilbert goons know that they have been designated as a street gang. Now they're going to be more discreet about things that they do because they know that the police is after them. So the police has has to you know it has to you know. There has to be some time, 
You got to get a police time to get acquainted with this game, know how it works, plant some bl some bugs in this game. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what the police will do. The police will have some un undercover people get into this game and, and, and find out the inner workings of it and find out how these guys, new guys are being initiated in the game. You know what I'm saying? The teachers have got to have to do the same thing because a lot of this is probably going on at school. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to get you got to get a police. So parents, you got to get a police time to, you know, figure out figure out how things work. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, man, like, you know, it's it's just crazy. You got to keep your kids safe. You got to keep your kids safe these days, bro. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to send my kids to school, bro. You got to keep your kids safe these days because, you know, these these other kids out here, they grow up so quickly because we got the Internet and the Internet shows you everything. You know what I'm saying? So you learn, you start learning things at a very early age about how the world works. So, um, you know, I, I don't, you know. Yeah, so, you know, man, I feel bad for these kids, man. I feel bad for them. Um, you know, I, I hope everything works out for them. It sounds like I'm ending this video, but I wanted to speak on something else. Um... Cause I was reading about these these Gilbert Coon guys. They doing you know these shootings and these shootings and things. I see I saw something about one of these guys had shot somebody, and I was thinking like well, for what you know why? Cause you got into an argument with the guy or something like that, and um, you know I guess it doesn't matter. You know shooting somebody is is bad. You know no matter how you put it, unless you you know I don't know you know. <laughs> Unless you're protecting yourself, you know what I'm saying? I guess you, you, you everybody got their different uh, justifications for shooting. Some people think it's wrong in certain instances, and some people think it's justified in, in other instances. But, you know, um, you know, I was just thinking, like, you know, what what these people, you know, you know, it has to be over some kind of argument. I was thinking about gangs in the hood and what they shooting people for because you always hear about shootings going on in, in the hoods in the low income areas um and i was thinking about how people don't realize how many people go crazy because you don't never you know shootings for the most part are like you know specific um they're not like random you know you of course you got these big national uh, worldwide i should say uh school shootings and and shootings and like um, and huge gatherings, these uh, mass shootings. They say on the news, you do have those, and you and and, and you think to yourself like, what what would make a a person shoot all these people? You know, what I'm saying they may be crazy, they must be crazy, because once they do catch the people, if they don't kill themselves or or, or be killed by the police at the scene, they do get these people and they and they try to figure out like, what made you go crazy um, in these mass shootings? Well, see what. The world don't realize it's like in low income areas, shootings like that, they not they probably not mass shootings, but like shootings that are random, they happen in the hood a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because these people go crazy in the hood because of all the things that I was discussing at first. Like you always under threat, you know what I'm saying, of being killed in the hood or or you know, you you depressed and if you don't have any drugs to mask that depression like these people do you start going through withdrawals and 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 um and you just go crazy you know you can't get no job that drive you crazy and all these things so you know these random shootings they 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 are the chances of them happening are high in low income areas you know what I'm saying they may shoot one or two people but it is a it is a, a unexpected Shooting, you know what I'm saying? Just like these mass shootings that these little these little boys be doing um, at these huge gatherings um, around the nation that you always hear about around the world. It's a lot been happening in Russia recently. Um, but I but I always think about when I was younger. You know, I would hear about uh, somebody in the hood shooting like two or three people. Uh, and, and maybe killing them, you know what I'm saying? And, and we would always, you know, my mother and father would come on and be like, yeah, that person just went crazy <laughs> and started shooting people. We used to hear that a lot, you know what I'm saying? We used to hear that more often than not. Um, people just going crazy, they say, you know, just going crazy and start shooting people and killing people. 
And see, that's kind of like what these, you know, that's how you think about these these guys that do all these mass shootings. You're like, damn, why they went crazy and start shooting all these people? And, um, and you know, I, I was thinking about, you know, just, I was thinking about this game, this Gilbert Goon game and, and the shootings that I saw that they were doing. And, and, and you know, maybe they, you know, I, I don't, I don't see who they shooting at. You know, I, I, they, I don't see a rival gang that they shooting at, but maybe there is one. You know, I don't know. Um, but I saw one shooting, and it was just a guy that got shot at some kind of, like, outside of some kind of, it was a store, either a party, some kind of party at night, or, or you know, some building where there was a gathering at and somebody got shot. You know, maybe they just, like, little ex, uh, isolated little incidents or whatever. Uh, but but man, these my point is, you know, these little Gilbert Goon little boys, man, they they don't have no justifications <laughs> for for doing all this shooting, all these shootings and and these uh these assaults that they doing, bro. They don't have no justifications, bro. They just bored and just doing it. They mimicking that black street culture, bro. And that black street culture ain't good for nobody. Even people, even if you in the streets and you black, that culture still ain't good for you. It's hard to get away from it when you in, you know, when you at ground zero, you in ground zero, it's hard to get away from it. But it's not good for nobody. It's not good for anybody. And, and you know, and it come from the rap music, bro. It come from the rap community. You know, this is glorified. It's glorified like the street, the black street culture is glorified in rap music, bro. And you can't really get away from rap music, bro. It's like one of the, the top genres of music. And you can't really get away from it, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's glorifying street culture. And these guys and these people are, you know, um, are disconnected from the from the streets and everything. So, you know, they just glorifying and why these other kids out here look at the Gilbert Goon guys. Um, if you did want to um, say something, give a reasoning for. The Gilbert Goons' actions, uh, you could say that you know it's because of of black street culture, the the rap, the rap uh, music that glorifies black street culture. You know, what I'm saying they are victims of that. You know, what I'm saying the the Gilbert Goon guys, you know, they victims of that. You know, what I'm saying because they holding up stacks of money. Who do that, bro? The mafia and all these. You know, what I'm saying I ain't never seen nothing about no mafia. That organization, that gang, holding up money to their ears and everything like that. It was a different time, yeah, but, you know, they they didn't show nothing. You know, they whole, they whole thing was, you know, we don't want to show the wealth. You know, we don't want to show what we making. You know what I'm saying? They, I mean, even though a lot of their bosses were staying in, like, big million-dollar, you know, mansions and, 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 and what, or whatever, but, but still, like, and they was dressed really well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So maybe they were... Maybe they was showing the wealth uh, in a sense, but they weren't going around, you know, holding up cash. Only black street culture do that, holding up cash to their ear and, and everything, throwing up gang signs. You know what I'm saying? Mafia wasn't doing nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they Italian, but, you know, that that's the only well-recognized gang other than these black gangs and, and, and some of these biker gangs. I don't know too much about the biker gangs, bro. You know, if you got a bike, if you got enough money to buy a bike, bro, I mean, damn. Well, I guess you could say the same thing about these 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 black gangs too in the street because they making money. They be making money, bro, in these low income areas, bro. But you know that ain't nothing to glorify because it's 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 money, it's blood money, really. You know what I'm saying? And and you know I would advise any young child to stay away from gang street culture. I would I would advise you please stay away from because it, it won't it won't do nothing but but destroy your life. You know what I'm saying? You'd be better off getting a job, getting a job and just saving, starting your business or something like that. You'd be much better off because jail is, you know, jail is a, is a bro. These little Gilbert Goon guys, they going to jail. They, they starting to realize how, you know, low income people feel, you know, jail ain't for nobody. You know what I'm saying? When you go to jail, you got people to tell you how to live, you know, when to take a shower, you know what I'm saying? And, and you living with other guys and, and and you don't know their mindset. These other guys could be ready to beat you up every night. <laughs> or, or, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys in there, they go decades without sex. So, so you know what I'm saying? Like, 
they they don't try to have sex with you. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? They 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 don't really care. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So you got a lot of uh, you know what I'm saying? So, bro, it's in jail, bro. Anything goes. It's like it's it's like you in the wild, bro. But you a caged animal. You a caged animal, bro. So you know these little guys, they gonna they they gonna learn a lesson, bro. You know either way.